God bless you. You are on with a wealthy place, Church of God in Christ. We thank God for another day that was never promised to us. Today is August 1st, the first Sunday of the month. I was always excited about the first Sunday um, when I first got saved, 1979 because we did communion. Uh, as you know now, a lot of times we don't have communion. We don't have rather the the official communion bread or the official communion wine. I have a biscuit this morning, but we're going to do that this morning. We're going to praise God and do a little bit of communion. We're going to quote the scripture, uh, not quote, but rather read the scripture. And uh, But before that, we're going to go to God in prayer and thank him for all that he's done for us. Uh, we want to sing a little bit of the communion song. Uh, the song is by Andre Crouch. I love this song. It's called Sweet Communion. <laughs> I'm gonna try to sing some of it. This bread represents my body and that was broken just for you. Think about it a little while. Think about it a little while. And this wine represents my blood and that was shed just for you. And all the pain and such misery that I have gone through. Think about it a little while. And you represent my resurrection. All that I have risen, I've risen from the dead. So break the bread and drink the wine. And you'll have sweet communion. Yes, you'll have sweet communion. This you do in remembrance of me. So you won't forget my sacrifice on Calvary. I'm going to sing once again. This bread represents my body that was broken just for you. Think about it a little while. Think about it a little while. And this wine represents my blood that was shed just for you. And all the pain and such misery that I have gone through. Think about it a little while. And you represent my resurrection. All that I've risen, I've risen from the dead. So break the bread and drink the wine. And you have sweet communion. Yes, you'll have. Sweet communion, this you do in remembrance of me, so you won't forget my sacrifice on Calvary. Let us go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you today. Obaboshai, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your deliverance from sin and unrighteousness. Right now, oh God, right now, some man, some woman, some boy, some girl listening to this message live or listening to the archive version does not know you in the pardoning or forgiving of their sin. Let them know if they confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in their heart that you have risen him from the dead. They can be saved. They can be delivered. They can be set free in the name of Jesus. Let them know they can receive, not beg for, but receive the infilling of the Holy Ghost, that keeping, saving, delivering power. Do it right now for that man. Do it for that woman. Do it for that boy. Do it for that girl. In Jesus' name, you're able today. There is no secret to what you can do. What you've done for others, you can do it for them right now. Fill with your Holy Ghost. Save, deliver, set free. In Jesus' name, do it right now. 
Do it right now. Somebody, oh God, body is racked with pain, but you're a healer. You're a deliverer. Heal today in the name of Jesus. Someone's about to be put out of their place. Bind the enemy in the name of Jesus. Let Satan be defeated in the name of Jesus. Let your blood prevail in Jesus' name. You're able right now. Wherever your people might be, homes, hospitals, prison facilities, on the communities, on the street corner, meet the needs of your people right now. Oh God, you're able. You're able. We'll thank you in advance. Before you stop that addiction, we'll thank you in advance. Before you stop that sickness, we'll thank you in advance. Before you meet the way for that job, we'll thank you in advance. Before you bring those finances, we'll thank you in advance. Your credit is good with us. We'll praise you now. You can work it out later. Do it, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. We want to read that scripture. Again, I'm brought back to when I first got saved, 1979. This is a scripture that we would read uh, just before uh, taking communion. The Bible says in, uh, uh, it's in the book of 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. And if you go down to verse 23, it's a scripture says, reads like this, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Like I said, I have a biscuit, whatever you have, bread, or whatever you have, take a bite. That represents the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now it says, after the same manner also he took the cup which he had which he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me and again i have water whatever you have to drink <laughs> take a drink We thank God. And, and 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 I was told also, you have to have accepted Christ as your Savior. To be saved, to be sanctified, to be filled with this whole Holy Ghost. You have to accept Christ as your Savior in order to, to, to truly take part and understand what the communion is. After you've accepted him as your personal Savior, he is Lord in your life. You can eat the bread and drink the cup. And you do it in remembrance of who God is. We thank him today. He's worthy of the praise, worthy of the glory, worthy of the honor. That scripture also says later on that uh, there were those who didn't do it, who, were mind, who weren't mindful of that. And the scripture says, for, me, for this cause many sleep among us. You have to be mindful of, of, of what that means the body of our Lord Jesus Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection. We thank God for all that he's done. He's truly, truly, truly worthy of all the praise and all the glory. Uh, we're going to bring on one of the preachers, preachers that I know. He sings and preaches, Prophet Brian Karn. We're going to share one of his messages. Uh, he was at the River Church in Durham, North Carolina. Powerful, powerful, powerful man of God. Be blessed, be encouraged. We hope you enjoy.
been good. Up down. Everybody say. I want to tell you that God been good. Everybody say all of my life. Come on, say all of my life. God been good. Oh, everybody say God. I want to tell you that God. I'm on my way, gonna hold my going on, going on with the Lord. Everybody say my mind is way, and I'm on my way, gonna hold my going on. One more time, my mind is way, and I'm on my way. Come out the Baptist church. They used to sing a song that said, Hold to his hand. Everybody say, Let me hear you say, Hold. God love change. Oh, you ought to be. Oh, baby. Everybody say, Hold.
would rather have houses. Sit down. Have men. Sit down. Some folks true silver silver and gold do y'all know that song that's the whole way everybody say we say they trade and forget about this song and for they're so but I decided but I decided to make Jesus, to make Jesus my joy. Come on, look at your neighbor. Tell him the road gets rough. The road get and the going gets tough. And the and the hills and the hard to climb. I started out. I saw. A long time ago, a long time, there is no doubt that in my mind, in my mind, I've decided I, to make Jesus, to make Jesus, my joy. Let so me say that one more time. Tell somebody the wrong is wrong. Oh, the the going gets tough, and the hills are hard to climb. Ooh. Oh, I started out oh, a long time. There is no doubt in my mind. Ooh.
to leave me to sit down. I told you I like them songs. I just feel good. They used to sing another song. I know y'all don't know it. If you've been in church around, you should know it. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. God's been so good to me. And every day he's blessing. Every day is a day. Is a Take the time to glorify the Lord today. Oh, and he keeps blessing over and over. He, I know y'all don't know it. Oh, he opened my eyes that I might see he's blessing me. Tell your neighbor he he take the time to glorify. Take the time to the Lord. Sound again. Take the time to take the time to sit, sit down. He keeps over and over. He oh. Open my eyes that I might see. He keep. He keep. Take a dump. Take a dump. Take a dump. Feel good. I'm a God for Bishop Brady. Give him a great, great, great God bless him. <laughs> if I did not have discipline, I would have broke my fast a long time ago. It's hard to fast when Bishop Brady is next to you. Because he keep on telling you the chicken tastes real good, prophet. You just, you just ought to taste it. And then he, then he said he the one that cooked it. <laughs> Get Pastor Brady a great, great big God bless you. Man. Come on, get Pastor Herman a great, great big God bless you. Bishop Bess. Get Bishop Brady a great big God bless you. My mama and my daddy is here. Give them a great, great, great God bless you. I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to bother you. Sit down. Jesus is here, church. I'm The one default change has come over me. Everybody say, the one devil change has come. But everybody say change. Come on, say change. Say change. I'm so glad, I'm so glad he changed, say change, oh change, oh change, I'm so
so glad. A wonderful, a wonderful day. I feel good. Lift your hands. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord. This ought to be your prayer. To the place where I first received you. Think about what you're saying. Take it back. Take me back. It ain't more shut up, us. Take me back, dear Lord, where I first believed, first believed. Can we say that again? You don't hear what you say. Come on, somebody say, take me back. I want to go back. Take me back to the place. Where I do to the place where I first received it. Oh, I gotta go back. I wanna go back. Take not where I first believe. I like that song. I feel that I'm so far from you. What's the next part? But still I hear you calling me. Those simple things. Those simple things that I once knew. The memories. The memories are calling me. I must confess. I must confess. Oh, I've been blessed. But still, my soul is not satisfied. Tell somebody there's got to be more. Renew my strength, restore my joy, and wipe away or dry my weeping eyes. Everybody say, take me back. I want to go back to a place. Well, I... Tell somebody, look at somebody, say, take me back. Oh, take me back to where I... Bless the Lord, we're glad to be here tonight, and we trust that God is getting ready to say something to you. If you want to know where I'm going, where I'm going, so come on, if, if anybody asks you huh, where I'm going, uh -uh. Where I'm going So come on Tell them I'm I'm I can't hear y'all Come on To be To be with my Lord Oh I'm going up the up Going up beyond the Going up beyond the To be with my Lord 
What did it say? Uh, I can take the pain. The heartaches they bring. The composite and no wing. I'll soon be gone. As God gives me grace. I run this race when until I see my Savior face to face. Everybody say, "Come on, I'm going up the yard." Oh, going. Here we go. Sit down. Are y'all ready for me to preach? Y'all tired of me singing now? Y'all like singing? I just see them the old time song. I can sing one y'all don't know. When Jesus comes as Sarah Jordan power, all the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, he'll wipe your tears away. You'll take your glue, boom, 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 and you'll fill your life with gladness or whatever. All is changed now that Jesus comes to stay. I told you would know it. I'm yours, Lord. Everything I got, everything I am, everything I'm not, I'm yours, Lord. Oh, try me now and see, oh, see if I can be complete. All that I need is in Jesus. I know you don't know it. He satisfies. Joy is a blind. Life would be worth less without out him. All things in Jesus. Sit down. Y'all gotta learn them songs. Amen. You got to learn them because see. You never go through them songs that help you. Father alone will know all about it. Father alone will understand why. Cheer up my Lord, live in the sun. We'll understand it. We'll understand all that. Certain things about your walk with God, you don't understand right now. But if they are, some people think they're saying Father, if they teach you They say if they are a teach you Father alone, you'll understand why you had to go through what you went through. Tell somebody, I don't understand it right now. But he'll explain it later. When we all to heaven. I see them songs make me cry. What a day of rejoicing. That will. When we all. 
sing Jesus. We will sing and shout. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. See, y'all don't know them songs. There to sing forever of his saving grace. Hey! On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Come on. Cares all past. I be home at last, ever to rejoice. Tell somebody I got to see him. When I see Jesus, amen. When I see the one who died for me, amen. Amen. Tell somebody, all my trouble, all my disappointments, all my heartbreak, soon will be over. Yeah. When I see Jesus, hey, amen. Tell somebody I got to see Jesus. Tell somebody I'm not suffering for nothing. I'm not crying for nothing. But I got to see his face. I got to hear him say, well done. Oh, well done. Sit down. next to you say neighbor you might get excited about a house you might get excited about a car but I'm trying to see Jesus that's why I keep putting up with all these folk that's why I let you say what you want to say to me if I wasn't trying to see Jesus I would have gave up a long time ago but I got something on my mind hey, something I ain't suffering for nothing. I ain't blessing them that curse me for nothing. I'm not turning the cheek for nothing. I'm doing it because I got to see Jesus. Some of us come to church because it's just something to do. Hello. Some of us just go through the motions. I can tell you don't want to see Jesus because you don't treat people right. The Bible say, how can you say you love God whom you've never seen and don't even love your brother who you see every day? Tell somebody, I got to see Jesus. Tell God's been good. Oh, up down. Everybody say, I want to tell you that God been good. Everybody say, all of my. Somebody, I got to see Jesus. Tell somebody that's why I'm living holy. Come on, see, you got to live this thing, church. I say, that's why I'm living holy. That's why I'm not laying up with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. That's why I'm not a sissy or lesbian. That's why I'm not a whole chasing free basin. Whiskey nipping, cocaine sniffing. Pill popping, weed chumming, tobacco chewing. 
Cigarette sucking, pipe up and skirt chasing. Bingo gambling and midnight rambling devil. I'm trying to see Jesus. Oh, I gotta see him. Sit down. And when you, I told you, I'm not preaching long tonight because I really want to minister to you. But I told you that when you stop focusing on people and focus on where you're going. So I'm going somewhere. I'm going where the wicked sees from trouble. And the weary shall be at rest. All the saints of the ages sit at his feet and be blessed. That's why I'm going. So I can put up with y'all down here. You wonder why I can put up with you down here? Because I know you ain't coming where I'm coming. So I'll go ahead and deal with you down here. Because when I get there, I won't have to deal with you. Yes, Lord. Yeah, you got to know how to treat folk. If you want to go to heaven. Some of us think our titles give us right to mistreat people. Y'all might have cried in your church. We think our accolades and our degrees because we got a little fur. Got a little bit of Jesus. I think that give you right to look down on somebody. But remember, if it were not for the blood, you'd be messed up too. Slap your neighbor, say, don't look down on nobody. Tell them you got a pass too. And if God was to put your pass on that screen, you'd hold up your finger and tiptoe out this field. Yes, Lord. First Samuel, the ninth chapter. I am so satisfied. That's Luther. I am so satisfied with my say. That's the right call. Yeah. That's another over. He means more to me than anything. Anything that this world could ever offer. That's the old way. They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. They said I'd never amount. You remember that? To anything. But I'm glad to say. That's another barn song. That I'm on my way. And I'm moving more and more each day. I like this part. There were many guess what? That started out with me. But guess what? But now they're all where are they? They're all gone away. Guess what? But I'm still holding on. Tell somebody I'm still holding on. One more time. Tell them I'm still holding on to his. Anybody holding on? Come too far to give. You come too far to give up. Brought you too far. And especially those who have been living the life, excuse me, who have been living the life of holiness. 
See, it, that holiness is not a popular message now. You know, because sometimes when you preach holiness, you upset people. I told them, they're not going to invite me on Larry King Live <laughs> until they get ready for the truth. They brought one preacher on there and they asked him, they say, well, pastor, do you think that atheists are going to hell? He said, uh, well, you know, Larry, I don't like to judge. <laughs> I wish they asked me. <laughs> atheists going to hell? Yeah. <laughs> Liars going to hell? I don't say homosexuals, that sound too nice. I call them sissies, bull daggers, booty bandits. Pokemon ministry. And if you don't repent, you're going to die and go to hell. I don't care if don't nobody tell you, I'll tell you. You know the only reason I'm talking about it because I see some sisters in here tonight. <laughs> don't get mad, just get delivered. Somebody scream up in here. the cover sissies look like Michael but sound like Janice huh? on the down low I see you in here tonight you can hide from man but you can't hide from God. The eyes of the Lord go to and fro in every place, beholding the good and the... Slap your neighbor telling him he got his eyes on you. Y'all don't like that kind of preaching, do you? Y'all don't like that kind of preaching, do you? See, we had some real men that would stand flat-footed and stop compromising. We wouldn't have all this mess in the church. We wouldn't have sissies on the praise team. We wouldn't have homosexuals in the musician pit. Y'all might have cried in here. If somebody would make a stand. Y'all might have cried. Sit down. Tell somebody the holding is still right. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care if don't nobody preach it. You can't say you belong to God and live like you want to live. If any man be in Christ, he is a... Sit up. Somebody say, why are, you why, why are you messing with this tonight? Because I know what kind of people in here. Whenever you tell folk prophecy coming for, you attract all kinds. So you got some sinners in here come looking for a word. And I'm going to give you a word tonight. Move that man out your house that ain't your husband. Huh? 
See, you got to deal with this because the church in this hour is producing a bad generation. Let me show you something. You see how you got water, seedless watermelons now? There was a time when there was no such thing as a seedless watermelon. So, so you got seedless grapes. There was a such time when there was no such thing as seedless. But any time you see something that does not come in its original form, mean that it's been tampered with. So the fruit that you're eating is not pure fruit. It's what you call a hybrid. You don't hear what I'm saying? Now, a hybrid is something that you can produce, but a hybrid cannot reproduce. You take a horse and a donkey, put them together, they're going to have what? A mule. But a mule can produce another mule. And we wonder why the church in this hour isn't producing nothing. You don't hear what I'm saying? The reason there's no reproduction is because we're trying to mix spirit and flesh. Oh, y'all might be quiet in here. And God said, I'm not coming back for no raggedy, messed up church. But I'm coming back for a church without spot or... Y'all ain't coming back, are you? I might as well weigh out while you're here. Slap your neighbor and say, clean yourself up. When we hear the word fornication, we only think of two unmarried people coming together. But remember, the church is a woman. And whenever a false prophet gets up and spills unlawful seed, because the word is seed. So when a false prophet comes and spills unlawful seed, tell you what you want to hear. See, he gave us a word, say, preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Why? For the time will come where men will not endure sound doctrine. But are going to heap to themselves teachers having itchy. That's our generation now. Don't like sound doctrine. No, don't do that, preacher. Don't tell me how I got to live. Just let me do what I want to do. I'll come to church. I'll come on Sunday. I'll come to, but don't tell me how I got to live. Mm -mm, Don't do that. Don't do that. Because if you do that, that means that I'm going to have to break away from some people some stuff and some relationships and there was a time when folk got saved they were willing to give up everything not no more come up say this little prayer say it you never change Hmm? slap your neighbor and say you got to repent repent. see the Bible don't say all of heaven rejoices over one sinner that believe and confess all of heaven rejoices over one sinner that repented cause see I can believe and confess but never forsake Y'all might have cried in here. See, the demons believe also that there is one God and tremble. Yes, Lord. But repent me how I was. I can't be like that no more. Uh Uh-oh. So if I was shacking, when I get home, 
I got to tell him, pack your bags. I hear a woman right now saying, I can't afford that. Two things I'm going to tell you. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. But secondly, let me tell you this. What you don't give up for God, you're going to end up losing anyway. Slap your neighbor, say, give it up. Tell them, give it up. His name is Jealous. He said, I'm not going to have no other gods. There's some women in here that got testimonies that they made a stand for God, was living that kind of lifestyle, but God delivered them. Want to know why? Because they wanted to be delivered. Look at them standing up. God delivered them. There's some women in here can wave your hand and say, he delivered me. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So I'm going to help you. Come on, let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Go to 1 Samuel 9. I am going back there. See that? 1 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Let's get this quick. And I'm going to get on out of your way because I want to help you. I want to prophesy tonight. I feel like prophesying. I saw some of y'all come here early for a prophecy, but didn't come in early to pray. I wish I could have hit you with this mic while we was in prayer time. Bless the Lord. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Y'all on point. Hey, y'all moving quick. Who controlled the computer? Who do that? In the back. Oh, moving quick today. 2.15 says, study. All right. Look at somebody that says, study. I remember now there's a spirit of deception in the land. And because there's a spirit of deception in the land, you cannot afford to get caught up in the hype. Come on, I need y'all talking back to me. You cannot afford to get caught up in the miracles and the dancing and the shouting and the power and spin it around in circles so much that you begin to worship worship. Mm. Get so caught up that you start worshiping worship because some of us don't worship God, we worship worship. We like the, the feeling that worship make you feel. We like moving, but we forget about the God of worship. Just like some people have faith in faith instead of faith in God. Why? Because if I have faith in faith, that means that I believe in the principles of faith, but I don't believe in the God of faith. Y'all might have quiet here. I'm preaching today. So because there's a spirit of deception in the land, you cannot afford to get caught up in the signs and the wonders and the miracles that are happening. What has happened in every great move of the Holy Ghost, they got so caught up in a man or they got so caught up in the move that they forgot God. And God is so God, watch this, that either way he's going to be sanctified. I was sitting in prayer, and the day God began to deal with me, he said, the church is crying out for revival. I said, yes. He said, but I don't think they're really ready for revival. I said, why? He said, because remember, when the church walked in power, the same amount of power was the same amount of judgment. Notice in the book of Acts, there was so much power that Ananias and Sapphira came to the apostles, lied to the Holy Ghost, and what happened? They dropped dead. See, you got to understand that if God ever sends power in your life, watch this, either way he's going to get the glory. If either he's going to get the glory by, 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 by using you or by destroying you. You don't hear what I'm saying. See, remember the glory was so strong that the man rose up against Paul. And Paul was able to swallow him with what? Blindness. The glory was so strong that there was a king named King Herod who got up there talking about how wonderful he was and how great he was. The Bible said that the angel smote him and killed him and the worms ate up his body. So what happens is we sit and we say, Lord, we're ready for your power. We're ready for your anointing. But a lot of us are not because of God was the sinner's glory. With the sin in our life, it will cause judgment to come upon us because everything in the glory is accelerated. You didn't hear what I just said. Tell somebody everything in the glory 
speeds up. That's why when we get in the presence of God, uh, you get your money quicker. When you get in the presence of God, a person who was supposed to be in a cast for nine months, or uh, not however many months you'd be in a cast, six months, right? Yeah. Somebody supposed to be in a cast for six months. Doctors say don't take off that cast for six months. But because you get in the glory, the glory brings about miracles. Now there's a difference between healing and miracles. Healing takes time. There's a process of time. But miracles come from the word do re mi. You know like when you're saying music, do re mi fa so la ti do. That word me in that text is when you get ready to make the sound me it's only 0.528 which means that it's less than a second. So what God does is when he gives somebody a miracle he subtracts time and what should have happened in six months happens in less than a second you don't hear what i'm saying that's why it's called me recall me the recall means ridiculous something ridiculous happens in less than a second you don't hear what i'm saying to you slap your neighbor tell him get in the glory now here you are because there's a spirit of deception in the land the enemy and see that's why you can't afford to come to church with all these attitudes y'all might have quiet in here you can't afford to come to church getting mad if somebody don't do things the way you want them to do you up and mad meaner than the god dog folk got to walk on eggshells around you don't know how to treat you because one day you might smile next day you don't one day you got the holy ghost next day you don't i've never seen a bunch of schizophrenic christians in my life got a praise on sunday but we don't know where you belong on monday when you get this word on the inside you can be steadfast on movable always abounding in the work of the law for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain slap your neighbor tell him it ain't in vain it ain't so we as a church cannot afford I, i'm almost done we as the church cannot afford to come to church and be having all these attitudes see you got to understand that somebody come on i, I like to say this because it's the truth tell somebody say somebody has been put in your life to get on your nerve. <laughs> Slap your neighbor. Say, I know who my person is. <laughs> there, there's somebody that God has sent in your life to irritate you, agitate you, get on your nerve. But you better thank God for that person because it's that person that got you on your knees. Is that person that got you keep coming to church because they keep putting you through so much? Huh? Slap your neighbor and say, thank God for my enemies. Yeah, so see, you got, you got to really get in a place where there's nothing in your life. And let me tell you something. If you are easily offended, can't nobody tell you nothing can't take no correction you are never and remember I told you I don't care what you think gonna happen for you your ministry your business your talent your gifting will never reach the place of its full maturity if you don't know how to receive correction y'all might have quiet in here church Look at some people. Look at some people who you know are gifted. Anointed. Can sing. Can whatever. But never reach the next level. Somewhere they failed the test. I have asked God to let such a spirit of humility rest upon me that even when I know I'm right, I don't defend myself. See, that's humility. Humility is knowing I'm right, but don't got to fight. Because I know God going to fight my battle for me. Oh, y'all might have quiet in here, church. Lift your hands. I got to operate in the spirit of humility. See, there are demons at the top. 
I said the demons at the top. And there are certain demons that you need to get rid of in the infancy of your salvation. Because if you don't get rid of it at the infancy of your salvation, what that demon will do, watch this, that demon will promote you. That demon will take you to different places. That demon will let you get blessed. But what the devil will do to you, he'll take you there and then he'll bring you to an open shame. Y'all might be quiet in here. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, whatever's in my life that's not like you, that could hinder me, that could block me, that could stop me, get it out! You know, I'm learning never to say what's not in you. Because you don't know what's in you. Because remember, the heart is uh -uh, desperately wicked, deceitful above all things. So, you know, pride is a sneaky spirit. Pride. See? That's why uh, some, some singers, they come, they come to my services, and they be expecting me to be shocked because they there. I'm not impressed. I don't, I don't look for nothing. I don't go to no church looking for them to put me on the pulpit. I don't look for that. Because the Bible says it's better to be asked up than to be asked down. Ain't that the truth? I walked in here and went right to the pulpit. Then somebody came in and they said, Prophet, we need you to go sit on the floor. That, that's shameful. <laughs> oh, that's shameful. <laughs> Not impressed. Yeah, yeah. Lord spoke me one time. He said, Son, when you start believing, listen to this, Bishop Brady. I need you to sit up in your seat for this. Sit up. <laughs> the Lord said to me, Bishop. He said, when you start believing what the people say about you, right, then right. you've been rejected. Right. When you believe all the hype, everybody telling you this, you that, you wonderful. God said, when you start believing it, that's when you know I've rejected you. So! Huh? heard the praises of the people then God rejected I'd rather have the praises of God than the praises of men because can I tell you something can I really tell you the truth y'all ready you close uh, uh, 2 Timothy 15 let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you something if you ever really do what God tell you to do Ain't nobody gonna like you. See, see that's why. That's why. Ain't that, that, see that's why some of y'all not willing to pay that price, cause you want to be friends with the world. Start telling your unsaved family members that they got to live holy. See if they want to hang around you. Mighty quiet in here. Preachers. God bless you.
Prophet Karn preached like nobody's business. Preach, preach, preached. Thank God for him uh, and the word that the Lord gave to him. Be blessed, be encouraged all week long. There is no secret to what God can do. What he's done for others, he can do the same for you. Be blessed, be encouraged, be uplifted. We're going to play... Um, I forget what song we're going to play. When you hear it, it, you'll be able to tell you who wrote it. We didn't write any of the songs that we play on any of our broadcasts. Be blessed, be encouraged, and be uplifted. I just want to dedicate this song to a friend of mine who has passed, Elder Jerome Robinson. And there's just a few verses, but it was on my heart. Heaven is a lovely place, and I want to make it. Heaven is a beautiful place. And I want to make it. I'm striving hard to make it. I just want to make it. That's my goal. Sometimes it's hard for me to be all he requires of me. I don't always know what's right. But Lord, be my God in light. I'm striving hard to make it, to make it. I want to go. Rest in peace, my brother. I just want to dedicate this song to a friend of mine who has passed, Elder Jerome Robinson. And there's just a few verses, but it was on my heart. Heaven is a lovely place, and I want to make it. Heaven is a beautiful place, and I want to make it. I'm striving hard to make it. I just want to make it, that's my goal. Sometimes it's hard for me to be all he requires of me. I don't always know what's right, but Lord be my God in light. I'm striving hard to make it, to make it. I want to go. Rest in peace, my brother.